Hey, welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you being here. My name is Carlton. As you can see, it's Casual Friday, but I'm going to show you how to make the most awesome smoked catfish that you've ever thrown between two lips. So let's get after it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up a brine for our catfish. I've got three quarters of a cup of salt. We're gonna put it in this bowl here. I got a half a cup of soy sauce we're gonna pour in here. I got one cup of brown sugar. I got three cloves of garlic that's crushed. I got one tablespoon of black pepper, ground black pepper little piece of garlic there and I got one teaspoon of cayenne pepper that's going in here okay make sure we get all of this goodness out of this bowl here all right now then I've got one gallon of cold water that we're gonna pour in here or as much of it as I can get in here without running it over. All right, that's close enough. All right. Now we're just gonna mix this up really good so it's all dissolved. We wanna make sure our salt and our black and our brown sugar is all dissolved, best we can. Just gonna stir this around. Okay, we got our brine mixed up pretty good. So what I have here, I have a about a two and a half gallon Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna put, I got four catfish fillets here that come out of Lake Conroe there in Texas. They're fresh. And I'm just gonna put these in there. Just like that. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to start dipping my brine and putting in here. Now we're probably not going to use all this brine, but we'll use a good bit of it. Make sure I get my garlic in here. We're going to just really good and cover our catfish here. That ought to be enough, I hope. Yeah, that's plenty. Get all the air out of it I can. And we're gonna stack it up. Now then, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these in the refrigerator for one to four hours, let them brine. Then we're gonna get them on our Bradley. We're gonna be using some alder pucks on it. That's the best pucks for fish, in my opinion, at least. You, you do you. You use what you want to use. So I'm going to get these in the refrigerator. When I get through brining, I'll be back. We'll take it from there. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we let our catfish brine about two hours. I pulled it out. We rinsed it off, patted it dry with paper towels, put it on this rack. We're just going to let it sit out in the in, in room temperature till it it's no longer tacky. You know, just till it dries a little bit before we put it on a smoker. But while it's laying here, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of Tony Zachary's on this. Just for a little added flavor. Just because I like Cajun food. Okay, that's it. We're going to let this sit probably an hour, hour and a half. Let it get, you know, let the outside get dry and not tacky. Then I'll be back. We'll show you what we do from here. Okay, we left our fish sitting out for about an hour and a half. They're not tacky anymore. They've dried a little bit. So we've got our smoker fired up. We're using the Bradley today. We're using alder pucks. We're running about 190 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. And we're going to get them on there, get them done. Don't know exactly how long it's going to take. It kind of varies, but whenever they get flaky, 
they'll be done. So let's go get them on. Okay, slide these babies right in there. Just like that. All right. Okay, our catfish is done. I want you to look at it. It looks beautiful. Man, they turned out beautiful. They smell really good too. This is really not a hard recipe to follow. We mixed up a brine for it. I'll put the brine right over here. It's a simple brine, mix it up. We put it in the brine in a Ziploc baggie, put it in the refrigerator and we let it brine for two hours. We pulled it out, rinsed them off, patted them dry with paper towels, put a light coat of Tony Zachary's Cajun seasoning on it, let them sit for a little while until they uh, got dry, the, they got a pellicle on them. Then we put them on our smoker at 190 degrees with alder pucks or biscuits in our Bradley smoker, and we smoked them till they've reached an internal temperature of 145. Pulled them off, let them sit, and they are done. And I wanted to thank Lonnie Box in Conroe, Texas, and my nephew who brought me these catfish fillets. I really appreciate it. I also want to send a thanks out to all the men and women that are serving in our uh, law enforcement capacity and all of our first responders. And I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women that are serving in the military and our veterans. Really appreciate everything that y'all have done. So now it's time. I'm just going to break me a little piece right off of here. Man, I want you to look how flaky that is. Oh man, that turned out great. Look at that. Tear me off a little piece here. Oh boy. That's some good catfish right there. I'm telling you, you really need to try this. So I want to thank everybody that watched that come to watch my video. And until the next one, thank you very much.